You guys remember last time I had that electronic fish finder bobber thing? Well, I got a new one this time. This one connects through Wi-Fi instead of Bluetooth. The signal is way better. So I did some casts all around the perimeter here and it's just about 15 feet all around, even when you get shallow inside. So I'll have my bobber rig set up with some tray herring and a cable baiter and set that to about 13 feet and Calvin will be fishing that one. So Calvin always says he has bad luck fishing. Always do. <laughs> but I think today is going to be a good day. We're going to cook something. What are we going to cook? Filet of rock cod with black bean sauce. Filet. Rice. Yeah, something that is a very popular dish in a lot of Chinese restaurants. You'll see that exact recipe. Filet of rock cod with black bean sauce. Over rice. We got to catch the fish first. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get it. I've used this bobber a few times, but here's the setup. We got a bead on top of it and then the bobber stopper. You already know, it's 15 feet, so we're gonna slide that bobber 13 feet up. Below that, we've got some 30 pound fluorocarbon. And I'm gonna do a very short leader, probably only about a foot and a half. And that'll prevent tangles when I cast out. For the clip, I really like these small VMC locks. This is what I use for salmon also. They're so small, but the pound test is so high, 68 pounds for one of these little clips. So this is my leader to the bobber about a foot, and then cable baiter to the herring. Cable baiter out the back, super sharp hook, rubber band through the cable baiter eye, wrap it around, and that'll keep the mouth shut. And I'll still give it a bend. Because if I reel it in, it's still gonna spin like that. And that should be able to get a ling cod. It'll come up for this herring, no problem. That weight will really help things get down and it'll keep things from getting tangled. Last thing I gotta do before casting out, about five feet from the bottom of the bait to the bobber stopper, Raise it up five more feet, and then three more feet after that. We'll be at 13. That's about, that's about 15, right? You say? About 12? 12, 13? Yeah, perfect. All right, here we go. Cast out as far as we can. Perfect. All right, I'll make sure the drag is set tight. Yep, perfect. Here you go, Calvin. And see how it's kind of going up with the waves too? It's like working itself, giving it itself action. Yeah, maybe reel in a little bit. When it comes in, reel in a little slack. When it goes out, open the bail and let it go. Oh, it's under, it's under, reel, reel, reel. Set it, set it, set it, set it. Oh, I like how it's spinning though. That looks really nice. Yeah, I think it's too shallow here. All right, going to a different spot. Seems like there's less seaweed and stuff over here, so cast out right here. And I'm starting now with this 30 gram jig. I'm just gonna cast it around here, up here with Calvin, hopefully get a big black rockfish. If I get a big ling, I'm gonna have to scale down this cliff. Oh, fish on, fish on, fish on. Yeah. There's bite. Had one? I don't know. I think he was on. I may have yanked it too hard. Yeah, just reel next time, I think, maybe. Oh, bait's gone, looks like. There was one there, okay. Yeah, you definitely had one, dude. Oh, dude. <laughs> I yanked too hard, huh? I don't know. Perfect. Oh, I got fish on. Probably black rockfish. Oh, you, oh, I saw that, dude. Something jumped away. Did you see it? Yeah. Something jumped away. Are you still on? I'm on. Hey, the cab's on. No, that's a little uh, gopher rockfish, I think. Nice little fish. Get these all the time over here. We'll let them go. Yeah, reel in and cast out again. Small one. You got one? Yeah. Uh, 
of those would have been. Want to keep him? You want to keep him? Let's see what time it is. I mean, we, we had enough food for. Uh, it's 11.07 right now. Your call. All right, might as well keep him. Let's keep him. All right, yeah, shoot, why not, man? We'll keep this one. These have way more meat than that other one that I caught. This is a, a blue rockfish. Or is this a black rockfish? That's a black rockfish, a small black rockfish. Just need a couple more of those and it will be good. Limit is 10 of those per day. Oh, fish, oh, fish on. Oh, bite, bite, bite. Damn, right here. Lost him. So I think there's a small school of blacks and blues right here in front. See how they just nibbled at the herring, took off the tail. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the herring off, I'm gonna tie two swim baits on here. And those swim baits going up and down with an exposed hook are bound to get bit and bound to have this bobber go down. Just watch, just watch. I'm so confident in this right now. So this is what I did here. I've got a little drop shot weight, probably half ounce, and then two swim baits on top. Bobber is still set at about 15 feet Calvin's gonna cast out and do a slow retrieve, super slow retrieve right in this spot. And it looks like there's a school of blacks and blues. And if there are, no doubt they'll bite this suspended in the air, in the water, I mean. Oh, I got one. Yeah. <laughs> Calvin hasn't reeled in a fish for a while. Be close to the edge so you can see where it's going. Oh, that's the uh, same thing, same thing. You want to keep that for home? Uh, okay. Oh, I got one. Oh, a nice one. I don't know what it is on a swim bait. Oh, a ling. It's a ling cod. No, no, cabazon. Nice cabazon. Keep your cab. Keep your cab? Yeah. I think I could probably bring it up right here. No, I don't think so. Uh, might be a keeper. They need to be 15 inches. That might be just 15 inches. Woo! On the bobber rig, cabazon. Yeah, I think that's a keeper. Dude, just working the, working the two swim baits in real slow and shallow. It's like you keep it in the strike zone for extra long when you got the bobber. Uh, let me go measure this. It looks like it's a keeper, though. Dang, he's so, so close. He's just under 15, so can't keep him. Gotta let him go. Let's try to catch one more. See you later, bud. This is a pretty cool rig right here with a bobber, two swim baits, all artificial, and you're keeping it right where you need to without getting too low and just bringing it in slow and with this half ounce weight it keeps it swimming just like you would if you didn't have the bobber oh fish on dude that's a good one that's a good fish bro bro be careful though you gotta be extra careful right now is it in the water Oh, 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 I thought that was better than that. What is it? It's just that uh, black and yellow. Jumping up? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's a good one. These are the best eating ones. Wait, oh, it... China claws. Nice. All right, Calvin said it's the best eating one. Oh my God, that scared me. You look like you got a huge one for a second. Nope. Let a little line out. This little guy got some bite. Yeah. Cool. That's a nice fish. And no skunk. No skunk. Calvin, woo, coming through clutch. All right. No, I'm good. It's okay. Nice. Nice. Yeah, let's go. Alright. So I'm about to fillet the fish. Calvin brought one and a half cups of rice. We're gonna do let you know exactly what's in this recipe. Just rinsing the rice now, right? Yep. How how many times you rinse? Today probably only uh, one or two times because we don't have much water. So one and a half cups of rice. This is a serving for two people. So what do we have here? We have uh, garlic, just gonna mince it up real quick.
Over there we got the rice cooking. This is a fermented black bean. Give it a rough chop. Where do you get these at? Uh, Asian supermarket, they all have it. Wow, it's got a strong smell. Mm-hmm. So that's bad. Let me put it somewhere so I don't accidentally drop it. As Calvin's saying, with those black beans, they're really strong, so you don't need too much. Add more if you like it spicy. You were saying it's got to be green pepper, right? Uh, the, the original recipe always uses the green ones. Use whatever color you like. Too much. Yeah, that should be enough. Half onion. Half onion. Diced or cubed? Uh, something like this. You don't want it it's too small. Most of the ingredients are prepped. I'm just gonna fillet these two fish now. I do have that same knife, but I did sharpen it. This one looks like it has a little more meat. Seems like it, huh? Right? Seems like it. Just run your knife right along the spine. Small, huh? Yeah, that's okay. So like, something like this? Yep, perfect, good size. Shoot, that's a lot of pieces, actually. Yeah. Uh, this one's thicker. Yeah, this is the black. The next thing is to put a little cornstarch on the fish. Cook that up. What kind of oil is that? Vegetable oil. Quick fry. It's hot enough? Yeah. I'm moving around a little, it's just a stick. If you wait till it's all brown, it's gonna overcook the fish. Be too dry. It would be way too dry. And Calvin said you don't necessarily want the cornstarch to turn brown. It's more just to seal in that flavor. And we're gonna cook it again also. Alright, so we're gonna get some more oil. Yeah, let's get, get it hot a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit. Just a little bit for now. Start off with the bell peppers. They take a little longer to cook. How long you cook those for? 30 seconds to a minute. And transferred out the veggies. Now sauce time. And sauce time. Black bean and garlic go in. Turn down the heat. Add a little bit of salt. Salt. I don't want to, don't want to burn the garlic. Mm -hmm. Okay, so garlic's starting to burn, so we'll take it off the heat. I'm gonna add the sauce. Oh, I forgot the jalapenos. What is this sauce? The soy sauce. Three packets. Let's do three packets. Oyster sauce. A little brown sugar. And add some water for more sauce. Throw the veggies back in. We still gotta cook it a little bit more. Yeah. I'm throw fish in. Looks good, dude. It smells amazing. Is that more salt? A little more salt. That right there is a little cornstarch and water just to thicken up the sauce if it needs it. 
Oh, that's good. <laughs> Bro, let me just say this looks amazing. And check out the rice too. A little bit of a brown on it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. perfectly cooked fish. Is that oh. good flavor? Mm hmm Just like the restaurant. Minus the MSG. Yeah. Yeah, if you go to a restaurant, it's gonna be fish filet with black bean sauce. Try that when you go to a Chinese restaurant. And if you wanna have it just like they serve it, now you know the recipe. And also, you may have noticed that Calvin didn't season the fish before he cooked it. I have a theory that you season it and let it sit for a little bit, it brings out the fishiness out of it. Out of it. I did that at home and I did not like it. So I tried it without seasoning it. Calvin was also saying that this dish goes better with a firm type of fish, like a rockfish, maybe a halibut, maybe a striper, a white meat fish, something that doesn't fall apart super easy. But yeah, man, this is so good. Thank you for cooking, dude. And I'm happy that you caught one fish, I caught one fish. That's both part of this meal. So I'm going to be doing a lot of more shore fishing videos coming up, probably for at least the next month, unless there's a crazy tuna bite nearby. So revisiting a lot of the old rock fishing grounds. So that's what's coming up. Finally getting back into the swing of things with a healthy daughter. Next game, bro. See you on the basketball court. Mm hmm Oh yeah, we're 20 and 0 on the basketball court. So if anyone wants to come to <laughs> Sunset Rec, come challenge us. Come challenge us. All right. Peace, guys.